Hannah, g'day. So what do you think about the fact that representation Hi, of people with a disability has increased by 3% to above 6% now? I mean, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, so I will celebrate the increase, however small, because there are a lot of people who have worked incredibly hard to get it to even increase that much. But I definitely think um, the screen and entertainment industries here in Australia are a long way from where they need to be in terms of representing people with disability. Yeah, so much more needs to be done. Absolutely, yeah. And that's in, that's in front of the camera, but also behind it as well, because I think representation of disabled people and a more kind of wide view of our stories will be more easily achieved um, if you have disabled creatives behind the scenes, whether that's writers, directors, producers. Yeah, uh, and it's unfortunate to talk about that, this in terms of statistics, but um, that, that's where the facts are. And uh, in the reporting of this today, it said that uh, there, the number of people in Australia with disabilities is about 18% of the population. So, yeah, um, yeah there, considering there's been a 3% increase, like you say, that's, that's, that's good, all well and good, but, yeah, there's so much more to do. Absolutely, and I think um, I'm really lucky to be one of the people who is helping to lead that change, but it's definitely not something that's happening in a vacuum. There are hundreds of people um, on screen and behind the scenes who are advocating and campaigning for this kind of stuff, and we have seen it increase significantly with like shows like Latecomers and Heartbreak High and stuff like that over the last year especially, but um, we definitely still have further to go. And do you know people with a disability who are actors and playwrights who are finding it tough to get a break? Yeah, I, I do and I think um, unfortunately that comes down to a lot of people being afraid of um, the extra work in terms of accessibility or like being unsure about how to make um, a workplace like being on set more accessible and um, and intersectional and all of those things and I think um, the only way that we're ever going to improve this stuff is if people try and that might mean getting it wrong but I think getting it wrong with the right intention and being open to learn and being open to consultation from our community it is the only way forward. And Hannah, what's been your experience as an actor in the industry? Um, look, my experience has been varied. I'm still pretty new at this acting thing. Like I've done latecomers and I've done, um, I just wrapped a feature film a few weeks ago, but I think for me, uh, it's been very, very varied. Uh, on latecomers, it was absolutely brilliant. And I think that came down to the fact that the show was in part created by two people with disabilities, Angus Thompson and Emma Myers. And we also had a disabled co-director in at in Alistair Baldwin. But I think for um, something like the film set, there was a lot of learning to be done. Um, but I appreciated that they were w that they were willing to do it. And honestly, like, I don't mind being the kind of first or the, like, guinea pig, if you like, even though it can be exhausting, because I think if I can make it better for the kids who come after me and for the young people who might want to be in the entertainment industries, then that's a pretty good deal to me. Yeah, and why is increased representation so important? Um, increased representation is really important because without it, people can feel invisible and instead of feeling like the future is a blank page full of possibility, it can feel like the future is blank in a really terrifying, we don't know what if, if anything goes here and that can be really, really damaging to a person's sense of self and a person's idea of where they fit in the world. And have you come across uh, some pretty cool moments already? You say you're pretty new, new to this, but have you come across some pretty cool moments already where people with a disability have come to you and, say, and said, thanks so much for, for um, yeah. putting yourself out there? Yeah, absolutely. The amount of lovely messages I got from the disabled community um, around the release of Latecomers when it came out last year um, was absolutely phenomenal. And I really, really happy that I get to do that and there's there's nothing that makes it more worth it than the messages I get from young disabled people or from um, parents of young disabled people that um, 
kind of say to the effect that like they're really glad that they have me to look up to because I didn't really have anyone who looked like me to sort of help me um, navigate my way through the world. So the fact that I get to be that for other people is pretty surreal and magical to me. 